Before I fall asleep again, I should explain what I did later in the W12 coupe. My voice is a bit croaky. I got to bed at 4 a.m. and my cat, or my dad's cat, but my cat now, because I kind of, I think I steal cats. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but I got when I got home, the cat just wanted so much attention. It started. It, it has a way of knocking on the front door and meowing really loudly. And there's someone else's bedroom of holiday makers next door. And so it would be really, it's really weird that this cat comes up and starts like knocking on the door in the middle of the night. So quickly let it in. And then it, it just wanted so much attention. And I, I fell asleep on the sofa with it. I don't know what happened. And then woke up probably 6 a.m., went to, went to my proper bed. And then, what, half an hour later, the cat's whining again. Like it wants more attention. And it's, it's jumping on my bed and biting my feet a little bit and, and in a playful manner. And then I think I passed out and it, it gave up, went outside. But then it's, you hear it calling by the front door. It wants to go outside. I'm, I'm like, well, I'll let you out. We haven't got a cat flap. But it's, it, it, my dad never <laughs> organized that sort of stuff. So you have to let it in and out every time it comes. And that's why it's learned to knock on the door. And when it was calling, and it was, it was quite a cute call. And when I opened the door, there was its friend outside, and they were literally like calling through the door to each other. And then when I opened the door, it was like an embrace of two long lost friends. And then this friend comes inside, and I have to feed them both. But it's still this friend, every time I feed them both, Pumpkin, our cat, doesn't really eat anything. He just stands back and watches his friend eat. But I, and, and the other night, I thought he was guarding the corridor to get rid of his friend. He chased him away once. And so I, th I thought he was, I thought this was a nemesis that he doesn't want eating his food. But this morning, it was clear he missed him so much. He just wanted him to come inside, just wanted to see him. It's amazing. But I'm tired. Like, it's not, it's, she's not letting me sleep. <laughs> I think I've had three hours sleep. So I'm going to explain what I did on the GP. But before I pass out again, and then I've got to get to work. But in Cyprus, I'm two hours ahead, so my colleagues don't really start work until what's well, 10 a.m. local time for me. So I can still get down to the beach, come back before everyone's at work. But I have to work later in the evening if I keep times. So I did another run. I was aiming for 1.35 It was really easy to hit 1.35 because it gave me the ghost of that Kai player, cow player, when I did my lap, like even though I ha hadn't done a lap, it gave me the number one player's um, ghost, which was nearly exactly 1.35. So I just had to make sure I finished in line with his ghost to set the time that I wanted. I had done one practice lap to pace myself and got 134.765. And I'm aiming for 135 because I know I have to beat it later here. And we're still not setting the tip. Like your best practice time, the best of your practice time and your actual qualifying time is what what governs your tier. And I've only done one practice run now and I need to do all the others to collect the practice rewards once I've qualified. And I'm going to try and... I've got to hit 135 twi twice. So I might go a little faster and then it... Sorry, that says 136. <laughs> because <laughs> it's blurred out yesterday i couldn't read that you know yesterday i could not read that number it looked like five and now my eyes are working a bit better this morning it's 136 so i would have actually made that time 135.765 but i've gone for 134.765 this probably means i'll be in tier three i think if i keep that time but if I'm in a lower tier, that's good. So if that's not a tier three time and it's a tier four time, that's fantastic. It's definitely not a tier two time. It's definitely not a tier one time. Well, I say that, it'll prove me wrong if it is. But that's the time that I wanted to set. And I did it later in the night. And the reason I did a really slow lap earlier was just to push people to race and to make them influence them to potentially go slower than they would anyway to make the final achieving the top 10 easier today. And I've still got one run left to make if I want to make it, but I've got no desire to make it. I think if I press play, 
it will give me the you've only got one run left option, but I don't actually want to even press play just in case it skips right in and it's too early for me to start racing. But that was the lap time I set in the end for qualifying and I'll keep my practice times around the same time. But I did misread the number. I thought it said 135 and it actually says 136. Good luck, guys. I'm madder than you.